I don't know, I'm looking at all these jobs I need on-air experience. Do I really want to be on-air? Do I want to be my own boss? Like, oh my god, I don't know what to do. I mean, I... Uh... Do you ever feel like you're not really where you want to be when it comes to your business? If you've ever struggled with feeling unclear, inadequate, behind like everyone else knows something that you don't, I 100% feel you. In fact, from the clip that you just saw, it's probably pretty clear that back then I really didn't know what I was doing and I didn't know what path to take next. Sometimes when you see all these successful people in the online business space, it can make you feel like you're missing something. But the truth is, it wasn't always like that for them. Everyone starts from zero, and today I'm gonna to show you my zero. I'm bearing it all, and today I'm gonna to give my pre-business self some advice as if they were my coaching client today. Stick around, and I think you'll find some nuggets of wisdom that can help you get results too. And stay tuned until the end where I'm gonna share the biggest mindset shift that helped me go from there, I mean, I, uh... to here which you can implement today to take your business to the next level. I'm Elise Dharma and I've helped thousands of entrepreneurs like yourself use Instagram to actually grow their business. And today I am feeling a little nervous because I'm gonna look at old videos of my 2012-ish self and give that former Elise business advice. Ooh, a new MacBook Pro, it's fancy, huh? Um, I guess this is my first talking to my laptop moment. It is 1 a.m. on October 3rd, I believe. I, oh, it's October 4th. As you can see, I look like garbage. Um, I've not been eating well, so I'm going to sign myself up for a gym membership tomorrow. I'm sick of carrying this extra 15, 20 pounds. I just want to lose it. Um... Uh, yeah, I feel weird. My mom told me this week that she wanted to Skype with me, my dad, and the whole family, so I pretty much knew what she meant. I got mad at her. I guess then she talked to my dad. They're going out on a date or whatever, but I mean, her mind's already made up. It's kind of clear. Uh, Work-wise, I don't know what to do. I'm doing freelance work for the DMZ, getting paid to do that, so that's good. Um... But I just don't know, like, should I start my own thing? Like, I don't know, I'm looking at all these jobs I need on-air experience. Do I really want to be on-air? Do I want to be my own boss? Like, oh my god, I don't know what to do. I mean, I... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's intense to watch, and I'm laughing because it's like, it's intense. <clears throat> Ah, I don't deal with emotion well. <laughs> okay, this was 2012. And what year is it now? So I was like 24. And you can tell like I was in the middle of so much. My, my obsession, my mind every day was on how I looked. Um, always worrying about losing 15 to 20 pounds. My skin breaking out. My family was going through... A divorce at that time so that was going on in the background and I was working as a contractor and I was stuck in this this deciding po point of um, yeah sticking with the day job world or branching out on my own and you can I can just like feel all of the confusion I remember feeling like I was in um, the center point and there were like a thousand different ways I could choose from that center point and in no way do I want to go back to this stage in life at 24 so I don't know if I have any advice for for this 24 year old version of myself it's just I think a phase of life that everyone goes through and for me it wasn't that enjoyable it was really overwhelming but I am so far on the other side right now and it's like a lesson in contrast really um contrast is really important in my life because without having had that experience I don't think that I would really appreciate and know what it is that I have today when I get up every morning and I get to be my own boss Today I've spent the day filming, I've been dressing up. Like in what world does that exist in a day job? So 
I really, really appreciate it. I really appreciate the ability to work from this device anywhere in the world. And I think that appreciation comes because I have been so far from it before. And watching this definitely brings back the emotion of that confusion. And I'm, uh, I'm just super happy that, <laughs> I'm super happy that I'm not in that phase right now and that I can have the life that I have today. Jungle. That's me imitating a YouTube channel that I used to watch called These Girls Are Wild. So shout out to Shannon and Andrea. That was their theme song. I was a YouTuber watcher then. As you can see from the way I look, holy white light. Let's just calm that down a bit. <laughs> um, I'm not having my best moment right now. I... Oh, just my diet's not good. So, fuck, and I cut my hair? How did I do that? Long hair is always hotter, obviously. I've not cut my hair since this in 2012. So I need a couple more months so that grows out again. Um, but yeah, mentally I'm just ready to start a new... Um, actually, it looks really good and healthy. Mentally I'm ready to start a new um, exercise, fitness, diet regime. Um, I used to eat pretty well when I first got here. I don't know what happened after that. Like, now I seriously think I could go eat pad thai and eat donuts in one night. I can still do that. <laughs> and I feel like garbage today. So I just had a delicious salad of uh, guacamole and um, a salad with chicken. So, you know, low carb. And, um... Yeah, I'm looking at getting a freaking gym pass to Extreme Fitness. They've got some classes and shit. Anyway, it's beginning of October. I'm not feeling 100% happy with myself, and I know it's because I'm not putting in effort. I'm being lazy. Like, look around my room right now. It is messy. Mess, mess, mess everywhere. Can you see it? You know what they say cluttered home, cluttered mind. Whoa, look at my background. Crazy. Um, so yeah, I need to make some changes because I think that's why I'm feeling stalled in general as far as career goes and love and all that stuff. I just don't feel confident. Like I'm going out to an event tonight and I just feel like, oh, oh, oh. see that? Oh. I just, you know, feel like I'm carrying the extra weight. And I remember the days when I was uh, 15, 20 pounds lighter, I just felt like light on my feet. So that is what I'm going to get back to. <laughs> so it's interesting watching this now that I, I did these little vlogs to my computer when I got a new MacBook when I was feeling low, like I not really checking in on myself when I was celebrating this video, I was clearly focused on my body, my diet, my weight. It really was a huge obsession of mine from the time that I was 14 to 24, 25. So I'm nearing the end of it. It's funny looking at this video. I don't think that I look that much different. Like there might be a little bit of um, baby fat in my face, but that person who I was then, when I looked at myself, I thought I was just absolutely disgusting. Like why anyone would give me the time of day? How was I gonna meet someone? How was I gonna go to a networking event? Like what I was telling myself, it's hard to believe now, but I was holding myself back. Whatever I was telling myself, they were all limiting beliefs. And I just, I think I held myself back from so many opportunities because I wasn't giving myself that confidence really. The other thing I find interesting is how much clutter there is around me. And that could be a representation of my own mental clutter. If I was going to, if I was going to psychoanalyze myself, I am living in a dorm room and dorm rooms aren't known for amazing storage, but like, there's just so many things everywhere. And that's, I'm not the cleanest person today, but I really like to get rid of stuff now. And I think that's indicative. Today, when I keep my environment simple and clean and clear of clutter, I do think that it helps me think more clearly. So the advice I'd give to this version of Elise is to clean your room and throw your crap out. <laughs> That's very simplistic advice. Of course, there's a lot more going on in terms of confidence and body image, but 
to be honest, I don't think, I don't think I have advice for that, Elise. Um, that's something that I did grow out of, but I'm no expert in that today. So I'm just going to leave that one. Oh, <laughs> what's up y'all? It's Sunday, it's 7.30, it's October 21st. And, um, I gave myself a makeover this weekend, if you didn't notice. <laughs> um, my hair, why did I cut it? I don't know, but I dyed it. Ready brown, so it's pretty bright red now, but I think it's better for winter. You know, I like the other color, but I had a tendency to wash me out. Um, got my eyebrows threaded. So yeah, new week. Um, just hilarious to me because the amount of effort and attention I put into my appearance is very different to now, but carry on. New negotiations as far as work go. Hoping to have a new job secured by the beginning of the new year. A job where I'm respected and paid properly for my skills and experience. Ding! Okay, so this is the end of 2012. I had graduated from university in that last year. And I remember feeling like I was looking for job security in some form, but whatever position I was in, I think I was a contractor then, I obviously didn't feel like I was getting paid properly for what I was giving. So this is definitely the early seeds of me starting my own business. At this stage, it was in the back of my head, but I was stuck in this limbo of like, I need a job. I need to make money because I'm no longer a student. I need to pay for my life here. But how do I mitigate starting my own thing at, at the same time? And this was before I read The 4-Hour Workweek, which is really the book that opened my eyes up to the possibility of online business. So the curiosity, the desire was there. I just had no idea about the hows. So my advice to this Elise is to stop thinking, like get out of your own head and do some research. At this stage in 2012, the four hour work week had been published. There were tons of books on working online. So I would encourage myself today to start taking action and getting informed as to what options there were at that time. Oh God, I, this one's gonna be embarrassing. I'm wearing a towel on my head. Oh no, <laughs> this, is, this is gonna be terrible. My face is swollen. Okay, let's do it. Well, this is gonna be fun. Uh -huh. I got my wisdom tooth pulled today. My face was swollen, but it seems to have come down a bit. I am also biting on gauze uh, because the bleeding wasn't stopping. I also got two cavities filled today, so my lip is, ooh, 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 I'm starting to feel that, oh, oh yeah, sensation is coming back. Um, so yeah, it's November 6th, U.S. Presidential Election Day, but more importantly, bye-bye Wisdom Tooth Day, oh. Uh, I've got nothing to say to that one other than I'm glad I documented the day that I got my wisdom tooth taken out. I have to say my sense of humor has not really changed a whole lot from this. This is just me completely unfiltered. Okay, let's move on in through November. Hey y'all. So it is Saturday, November 24th, 2012. And clearly didn't know that date stamping was a thing on files back then. That's why I'm always telling you the date. I am writing my five-year plan, which is kind of crazy. Um, but I'm looking out my window at the beautiful city view and I'm thinking, I want an, I want to own a place, a condo in that city, ideally by water. And so the next place that I move into will be a condo that I'm going to purchase. Um, I say this because yesterday I was offered a full-time salary position at the DMZ. I'm still waiting to hear back on what the salary actually is. I'm hoping it will be not so much at the forty-five or 48000 mark, but more like the 55000 mark. 
um, because that's what I want and that's what I deserve. I really want 60 actually. Um, I also applied for a job at Rogers. We'll see what that pays and what happens with that. But anyway, I'm writing my five-year plan. I'm looking at mortgage payments and interest and blah, blah, blah. For me to purchase, I am going to need to save up quite a bit, you know, pay off my frickin' debt. I really don't want that debt. Um, and save up. And, um, yeah, I need to have uh, another source of income coming in that can come in while I sleep. Um, so that I need to pass up income figure out um because i do not want to say yeah i know uh, it's annoying um i don't want to stay as a dinky salaried employee for long it's great for now to pay the bills now um it's, it's motivating to you know not just get comfortable for, with this level but to keep going higher and higher Wow. So in 2012, I wanted to own property by 2017. Uh, news update for you. I never bought property in Toronto. I still rent, but I love that I'm showing the ambition and there's a plan in place. So it looks like mentally and emotionally, I've taken kind of a turn. I think having that full-time job really helped and it does help. Like, especially when you're starting your own business, you do need that security as backup. Otherwise it's just a high risk situation. Um, so the advice I'd give to this Elise is to keep on that path, stick with your full-time job, save up your money, pay off your debt. I love the five-year plan and have that security while you build your business on your on the side. So I think I was exactly on the right path here because I am talking about um, having passive income on the side. So my brain is in the right direction. I'm making action, taking, taking, no, I'm making moves, taking action. And it seems like I'm in more of a positive space here. So I would just say to keep going. Uh, let's try this one. I don't think it's about hair. We'll try. Now we've moved into 2013. <laughs> okay it's march 31st tomorrow is april fool's day i've got no plans what is bouncing cancel do my eyes look red or what uh, been eating a lot of sugar lately you can see it i'm retaining water and stuff so this week I'm going to cut down on my carbs. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> okay. The diet obsession continues. I, it was around this age that I stopped being such an emotional eater. So looking back, I can clearly see that emotions were driving my eating habits. And this has nothing to do about business, but this definitely affected me in my life. Because again, like, I was a yo-yo dieter from the time that I was 14 and it really affected my confidence. So it was later this year or a couple years down the road where I started to make the mental shift from food being an emotional comfort to it just being sustenance. And I know that sounds so simplistic, but that's really what it took for me to stop turning to food for emotional comfort. So. I don't really have advice for my pre-business self here because this is just the food journey that, that I was on and I eventually learned it. So that's just life sometimes. Knock, 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 knock. Hey y'all. All right. So let me break it down for you. It is May 15th. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, this is what I just did. Dumped out everything in my purse time to clean it up um so my update is i have been on tim ferris's four hour body for a week and a half i did cheat tonight i had some chocolate oh i just you know it was there i had it it was bad um so i guess i did know about tim ferris at this point i guess i started with his diet um i had like a two day cheat weekend so I don't really feel like my body's kicked in since then um, to keep burning fat, losing weight. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, yeah, I'm on antibiotics right now. I finish them tomorrow. 
don't ask. <laughs> so I feel like that's kind of, I actually don't remember why, but better I didn't say it. Messing up my system because killing all the bacteria in my body, but I need bacteria to properly digest food and all that stuff. So, um, yeah. So, does my face look skinnier is the question. I feel like I've sort of lost some weight, maybe water weight in my upper body. Lower body. Oh, let's just take a look for documentation sake. Um, so yeah, lower body needs to need some some work. Cut down some of that fat. Get ready for summer, you know? All that stuff. The crazy part is that's embarrassing that I just showed my body on camera, but again, I never intended to publish this. But I look at myself, I'm like, what is wrong? Like, it's just so crazy that mentally I saw myself as one way and now looking at it from the future. Um, I don't think I look like as overweight as I thought I, I was in my head. Um, what else is going on on on? Um, there's so much. Why can't I remember right now? Oh, oh yeah, I'm selling Arbon products right now. Mm -hmm. Side business. So I just said I'm selling Arbon products. So anyone in my audience who's a network marketer, I have been there, done that. I did try it in 2013. Let's see what I say. Yes, more money. I'm also looking at starting my video production business. Like, okay, so I did dabble in Arbon, and then my side business, my passive income business, is I was thinking about doing video production actually. It's, it's happening, you know, I've been thinking about it for so long and over Christmas I want to do something like this. It's happening. So that's my May 15th update. Um, looking forward to updating you again in a month. Oh, I'm going to Europe at the end of June. Yay. So by the time before I leave Europe, I have to have brought in some extra cash, like an extra grand. That's my goal. Okay. Chat later. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> That's funny. It's weird that I'm finding myself funny. Um, I find it interesting how much pressure I'm putting on myself. Everything is like, I have to do this by this date. I think I just didn't know any other way. And I really wasn't giving myself much grace. I really wasn't like just doing one thing at a time. It was day job diet and exercise, travel, I have to make a thousand dollars in a month. Like that's, that's a lot. And I was 24, 25 ish then. So I wish I, um, I honestly wish I just eased up on myself a little bit and actually enjoyed life a little bit more. So I think I'm making the right moves towards creating a business, but I, I know that I also sacrificed quite a bit and probably didn't have as much fun as I could have because I was just obsessed with getting skinnier and making more money. This is a photo. Photo. Oh, we made it to the end of my old videos. I can relax now a little bit. <laughs> that was a lot, but I guess from overall, my sense of watching myself from eight years ago, I just, I feel empathy for myself. I had so much pressure on myself to be an overachiever, to get through my twenties so fast, to make a lot of money, to get super fit. And I really wasn't giving myself a break at all. And that's what I, that's what I would tell myself back then. If I could, if me today could go back and talk to my 24 year old self, I would just tell her to relax and have fun. And knowing her, that would have triggered her big time, telling her to relax. But I think she was on the right path. Everything was going to work out. And if maybe she had spent a bit more time enjoying the moment and just being a student, like not feeling like she had to have everything together, just being a student, being a young adult, um, I know she eventually would have gotten there, but that would have just made it a little bit more enjoyable. So I hope you enjoyed this very different type of video where I gave advice to my pre-business self. Definitely got intense there for a minute. Um, 
If you found this at all helpful, feel free to reach out to me directly. I'm on Instagram over at Elise Dharma. Feel free to send me a message. Maybe there's something in these videos that you can relate to. Maybe you're going through one of these emotions right now. I just want you to know that when you see someone with their flashy, shiny business online, it doesn't mean that they haven't been there. It doesn't mean that they can't relate and they haven't struggled themselves. And I have definitely been through all the emotions. So if you're going through something right now, feel free to DM me and chat. Sometimes when you see all these successful people in, I don't know what my fingers did. Successful people. Going on. Uh -oh. Success. Success. It's because I'm doing this and it's this. <laughs>